Hello friends, my name is AJ and in this video I'm going to show you how to send PDFs and web pages directly into your Kindle using the Shortcuts app on iOS. Now the Shortcuts app is for iOS 13 and up for both iPhone and iPad and basically in this video what I'm going to be able to uh, do is take a website and just click one single button and be able to automatically send it right to a Kindle. So without further ado, let's get started. Now I'm on the iPad over here and I'm going to open up a sample. So this here is a Wikipedia page on the game of chess. And this is basically what I want to actually uh, kind of send over to my Kindle. And basically with this method that we're going to create, you'll be able to send anything, like any web page to your Kindle just with a uh, simple click of a button and you can do this for multiple, multiple pages. All right, so the first thing that I want to uh, do is actually open the shortcuts app. And this is generally what you see over here with the shortcut. And what you wanna do is you wanna click on uh, create shortcut over here. All right, and now the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna click on the three dots icon, this icon over here. And you see that you have a shortcut name, right? And a little icon, which you can actually click on. And you can edit your icon too to be a custom one. So let's say I want to send it to my Kindle and maybe the uh, the type of Kindle color is a blue. I can change my icon to a blue. I can change my glyph uh, maybe to a book. None of this stuff actually matters though because we're going to be doing it in a slightly different way. I'm just going to do this for now. And I'm just going to call this send a page to send page to Kindle. You want to make sure that you actually name your shortcut, especially if you have other shortcuts. That way you'll be able to distinguish this one from other ones that you've already made. Now down here, you can see that there are, and this is very important that you do this, otherwise it's not going to work. You see that you have this, you have kind of two of uh, two check boxes, if you will, or where you can turn it on or off. You have show in widget and show in share sheet. You need to make sure that show in share sheet is actually going to be check marked. Just like that, that's very, very important. And now you can click done and we can actually get started over here. So the first thing that you have is this accepts. And this accepts is basically all of the different input types that it can actually take in. So there are a few things that you want to uncheck. So such as you don't wanna have app store apps, probably contacts, dates, email addresses, uh, files, because when you say files, that could be random files that file types are not going to be supported on Kindle. Uh, I'm just going to remove like location, maps, links, phone numbers. These though we can keep. So things such as articles, images perhaps, media. And media also you probably want to uncheck because media actually refers to videos. So you want to uncheck media. Um, PDFs are fine. Uh, and then down here you have rich text, Safari web pages, which is actually what we're aiming for, text and URLs. So you're going to click done over here. And now that we have the accept, so this is basically what our shortcut can actually take in. Now we want to go to our search bar at the top over here and you want to search for uh, make PDF over here. And you'll see that there's a make PDF action. You wanna click and drag this make PDF over here onto your page. And you can see that actually what happens is it says made make PDF from shortcut input. That's exactly what you want. Now, if you don't have shortcut input in here, then all you have to do like, okay, I cleared it just so that you can see, like if it just says make PDF from input and you don't have that shortcut action, you can simply click on input, click on select a magic variable, and then select up here at the top on shortcut input. And that will add it directly in. So you wanna make sure that it says make PDF from shortcut input. Now the last thing you wanna do is you want to type in send email. Send email. And you wanna again down here in actions, click and drag on send email and drop it into your page. And now you have send PDF to receipts as subject. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the PDF that I've created and I wanna send it to an email. But you may be wondering what email do I actually wanna to send to? And this is where we have to actually go into the physical Kindle device and find, there is actually an email in settings that you can send and it will automatically make files appear on the Kindle. So you want to turn on your Kindle and this will work with any Kindle. So Kindle Paperwhite, uh, just a normal Kindle. And in fact, you can probably do this on a Fire as well, but with the Fire, you have a web browser. So you know, that, that kind of, you don't really need to do that. 
So once I'm over here and you're on your main Kindle page, and I, I'm going to hide some of this just for um, kind of security, but you see over here that on the, on the bottom on your uh, Kindle, you do have this little settings icon. You want to click on the settings icon. Now you have these options over here. You have an airplane mode, a sync with uh, sync Kindle, and then another settings button. You want to click on all settings. And now over here, you actually have a bunch of options in a list. And the first thing you want to click on is your account. That's the first thing. That's why I'm hiding this part because it may have information, personal information. Then at the bottom of this page, you'll see a little, a little, um, a little, what do you call it? List item that says send to Kindle email that you don't have to click anything else. Once you click on your account, it should be at the bottom of that page, send a Kindle email. And there you actually see that there is an email specifically that you need to type in. And that's the email that you can actually send documents directly to your Kindle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video here. And again, I'm going to be hiding this email uh, to you guys because this email over here is to, links directly to my device. So that I don't want to be necessarily shared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video. I'm going to type in that email into, and if you go over here, you can click on recipients. And this is where you want to type in your email. So I'm going to type in here your uh, underscore email underscore uh, sorry, those are emojis here. And then it, it should be at kindle.com and it's in all uppercase too. And so then you click done over here. I'm kind of going to skip the step of typing my email because I'm going to show you how this works. So in, in, in a cut, I'm going to actually type in this email. And then all you click here is simply done. And now you are done creating your shortcut. All right, so I just got back and I typed in the actual email that is listed on my Kindle in the spot where I typed in your email here at kindle.com. And now we're going to actually put this onto our Kindle. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to go to my, go back to my web page over here. This is the web page that I actually want to send over to my Kindle. And so now what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to click on my share button up here. And you can see that I have my share button and now I can scroll down and you see at the bottom now, the last option, we now have a new one called send page to Kindle. So I can simply click on send page to Kindle and you can see here again, I'll have to blur this part out because this has my email shows it. And you can see that it runs it and now you have this email box. And so now all you have to do is you just click send over here and you don't need a subject. You just click send again. And then now it is done. And if I go back to the, now the physical Kindle, what you want to do is you want to click on settings, sync my Kindle over here. And what it's going to do is it's going to uh, search and it's at a, at a few times in the top left corner, it's going to say no new items because there's just a slight delay. But you just want to wait a few seconds and you want to click the button uh, a few times and it may take about up to a minute for it to actually appear. But you are clicking this button over here, the sync, uh, sync button. And then you can see over here that it says on the top, no new items. But again, you're just going to wait for about a minute because it does take a second. You want to make sure that you're also connected uh, here to the internet. So I'm just going to go over here and sync it one last time. And now you can see that it actually says on my, on the top left of my Kindle item downloaded. And now you can see right over here, I have a new wicked, I now, now have the Wikipedia page. So I can simply open it and you can see right here, I have the chess Wikipedia page completely downloaded onto the Kindle. So that is basically how to take any web page. I can go to any web page, such as I can click on board game right over here. And I can just click on board game, which is showing Monopoly on, uh, which is good. And I can click over here and I can also click send page to Kindle and it will do the same thing. Of course, you want to wait for about a minute before it appears. As you saw, it took about, uh, it took about one minute to actually load up, but it worked 
absolutely perfectly. And this way, whether if you want to store, for example, an article that you found online or a blog post or something, and you're going to a place, for example, that internet where you can't open the browser. First of all, the browser on these type of Kindles is very not that good anyway. Some people prefer also though Kindles, like if they're if they're reading in a certain area. Um, in, in the dark, a lot of people would prefer Kindles over something like an iPad to actually read. So this is a very good way to uh, bring web pages, anything on the internet, you can bring it over and store it locally on your Kindle. So if you don't have internet or if you're in a different type of place, you can easily view it. All right, everyone, if you have any questions, in the, uh, definitely leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe for more content. And as always, thanks for watching.